Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today um, is my birthday and today, because it's my birthday, instead of doing school, we're gonna do some other fun things. I ended up getting all these little pom-poms at the dollar store, like so many of them, and we're gonna sew garland together. That's something that I wanted to do today. I also got some red plastic cups, some tissue paper, and some green poster board that we're gonna use for another craft. I'm gonna show you guys what that is. Actually, I'm gonna just tell you. Soon it'll be December the 1st, and you guys know that my girls used to always get Schleich advent calendars. If you don't know what an advent calendar is, it's a calendar that helps you count down the days to Christmas. Every day you open one, and you get like a little surprise. Well, you this year, Gabby is not into Schleich. Oh, Who ever knew that we, would happen? We always end up just opening them all one day. No, we don't. Anyway, Sam took it onto himself to figure out what would be a really good advent calendar for Gabby this year. And since she likes very specific things, he decided to make her an anime calendar. So he bought all these fun, super cool, amazing anime things. And I'm going to use these things to make a advent calendar for Gabby. So those are the things we're going to do today instead of school. But before we start that, we're going to open presents because it's my birthday. <laughs> So this is my present from Sophie, and Daisy's here. She thinks you that can, it's meant for you her. You can tell I wrapped it because I don't want you getting into it. Because I take every single thing that you can get into. People it. don't trust me. All right, so no, let's see. No, I wanted see. you to be struggling so Oh my gosh. <laughs> how you open presents when you're holding a camera. So this present is from Sophie. I'm excited. You get box. So this is what was in the box for Sophie. Do you guys remember the other day when I was saying I would love a pair of these winter breeches? Thanks, Sophie. I love them. And now I have no excuse not to get out there and ride my horse. I love those. Anyways, I love them. I'm excited to be nice and warm. And now, because they spent that much money on me, I'm going to have to ride my horse in the winter. But I'm excited. We actually have some plans to do some winter riding this year. So I'm excited. Thank you. I used to have a pair of breeches just like this the carrots winter breeches and they're the ones that got cut off of me when i broke my pelvis so i'm super grateful to have another pair so this one's from gabby i'm excited i have a feeling i know what it is because when they went shopping i watched the video i edited the video and i feel like i know what it is i'm actually excited about it if it is what it, i think it is it holy heck i did i thought it was a belt Oh, I am excited about these. You guys know how much I love my grooming gloves. I love them so uh, much. Listen, all, all the so you can lose them. Yeah, she found the right color so and I can't lose them. One green one and the rest are black. I love those. I love them. Thank you. I love these. I absolutely love them. And now that I have two pairs, because they never wear out. Like my black ones that I have that actually were Gabby's, they never wear out. So we can take one pair here and one pair to the other barn to do the lesson horses with. I love those. Thank you, Gabby. I like it way better than a belt. All right, so this is the one that I specifically asked for. Oh my gosh. I do not know what they did to wrap it. That was Gabby. This might take me a while, you guys. A long while. I got it. So this is the thing that I specifically asked for. I am so excited, you guys. It is the Essential Hoof Book. I want to learn. I'm like really intrigued by horse feet. I never thought that would be the part of a horse that I'd be intrigued by, but I love learning about it. And this book is so phenomenal. Like recognizing healthy and unhealthy feet. I want to learn that size, shape, and hoof wall. And it has so many great pictures. Like it shows so many diagrams. And I feel like one of the ways that we suffer as society right now is that we go to the internet for everything. We just go and look online and there's so much conflicting information. There's things saying one thing and then there's things saying the opposite of that one thing. So you never know what's exactly right. So having like a book and being able to look things up and read about hoof care, like I'm excited about it. I'm so excited about this book. Thank you guys for my presents. Thank you, Sophie. I love them all. It was too much stuff. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's how good they work. Oh, jeez. No, she, she shed so much. Gabby, you want your dog hair? Wow. We should use the other pair for the dogs. All right, so it has been a few hours. We are in Operation Christmas building 
workshop. These are going to be the, these are going to be Gabby's advent calendar. I need to get a couple more cups and we might need to get more paper. But basically, Gabby's going, we're going to build a tree out of each of these. And inside this cup is each one of Gabby's advent surprises. So every day she will break through one and get a present. Also, we spent this morning building this little garland. Remember I saw things similar to this at the store yesterday? Uh, these are the only color pom-poms that I could find at the store. Green, white, and red. And we strung them together like popcorn and made them for our tree. I like it. It's super cute. It was fun. It was exciting. Yeah, Gabby's going to build the advent tree now i'll show Step you guys on it. i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done i'm such a busy person i'm busy all the time i'm always doing stuff and being able to like take a day out and get the things done that i've been wanting to get done like some christmas crafting is super fun for me sam took the girls to get my birthday cake this morning and i was able to clean up a bunch of stuff which is also my one of my favorite things to do Hello. i hate to say it but the snow is melting you guys Typically, we don't leave any horses out here when the weather gets like this, when it gets wet on the ground. Because we don't want it to go to mud. You know how a lot of times at the gate, there will be like a lot of mud and stuff? We barely have a little tiny bit. It looks worse in the camera, but we, we are just starting to get a little bit now. Hello, are you looking to go in? The yes. I literally stayed in the house the whole day. The whole day. Sam and the girls were down in the barn. I never do that. I never just hang out in the house. But it was so good. So refreshing to get a bunch of stuff done that I needed to get done. Whew! I'm cold now though. It's cold. Oh, hello naked ponies. I love that Minnie. Oh man, I love her. I love all of our horses. But you guys, we made a huge mistake yesterday. Sam and I. I feel like I need to explain but it wasn't our fault, but it was totally our fault. Dad's gonna need a horse for you. You should be getting that. Oh, yeah, I should be getting my own horse. Yeah, we're gonna put blankets on because it gets cold at night. So it's warm. Freezing. Yeah, it's warm during the day now, right now, but it's cold at night. I'll get her. Get my girl. Anyways, so uh, the mistake that we made was that yesterday before we took Gracie, we decided to feed her dinner. Not her grain, but we fed her like her dinner, her hay, before we left because I was worried. I was worried that it, it would be too long between her lunch and her dinner and that if she went riding and, great, and Julia was riding her, that maybe she'd be like not happy being ridden because she was hungry. Like, let me explain. We're, I'm so obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like <laughs> you are the cutest baby. <laughs> You're adorable. Ah. So a long ago, like a long, long, long time ago, we were at a barn. It was an amazing barn, but they only fed, and most barns, a lot of barns in our area, only feed breakfast and dinner. They don't feed like several times a day. You guys know that horses need like food in their belly all the time. And so I remember always panicking and worrying, like when we would come and ride at like five o'clock or six o'clock at night, and our horse hadn't eaten for like hours and hours and hours. So. Even though our horse is probably fine, I panicked all the time because I never want, like, I worry about our horses being uncomfortable. I was thinking last night, like, I, I didn't want there to be too many hours. Anyway, the point is that Sam and I fed Gracie her hay before we went to riding. And to say that Gracie was a little excited and a little bit more energetic than her first lesson is putting it mildly um no and she's going in <laughs> she's trying to well, hello babies <laughs> so sam and i fed gracie she was a little crazy they're gonna post their video barn boots is gonna post their video soon tomorrow i think and uh, you guys can watch it or don't because i don't want you guys to see but julia did like such a good job but i just like when it's your horse, you just feel responsible. And I feel bad. Like, I always want to do the right thing so that the kid that's riding her is safe. Not that Gracie's unsafe. She's a seasoned lesson pony. But 
I don't know. I feel like we made a mistake. We put Julia on her. She's a bit wild. Julia nailed it. Live and learn. From now on, I'll feed her a little bit like earlier in the day. Like I'll feed lunch on riding days later so that she her belly's not empty. But yeah, we did that. Is that get door closed? Close that behind you. Please. Stall. Stall. <laughs> She looks so big. Somebody messaged me the other day and was like, and told me they got a new foal on the weekend. And they showed me pictures and they said he was eight months old and he looks just the most exactly like honey. Like so similar in size. So similar in everything. She is cute. No, she's not cute. She's adorable. She's adorable. She's a horrible. She's a horseable. She's a horrible. She's a Look, she doesn't even want to stay. She's like, I'll come with you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring you in the house one day. <laughs> Better bring her in now before she gets too big. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're Willow staying. has been in our house before. You're staying. <laughs> I know. What happened? Hard to open the door. Perfect blanket size for her. Yeah, the perfect Christmas pony. Oh, it's a little long. It's adorable it's though. It's so little. It's almost touching the ground. You're welcome. I cleaned the cobwebs. Did you clean the cobwebs? I saw it in the video that you were going to. Oh. No. Oh. Still here. <laughs> I I noticed cobwebs in the house today over the front door. I'm oh, gonna yeah. clean those. Yeah. So you do the barn cobwebs and I'll do the house cobwebs. It looks yeah. good though. It looks really good. Clean most of it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Good job, Sam. Extra points for you. Uh, this ends today's video. My birthday, and you guys are having Thanksgiving in the United States. Not very often does my birthday actually land on Thanksgiving, but this year it has. We wanted to wish all of our American viewers Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you guys had the best day with family and the best meal and the best of the best day ever. It is to go Gabby, me, you, dad. Shortest to tallest. But that is it for today's video. We'll be back on a regular video tomorrow. I actually had a nap this afternoon. I actually had a nap. It felt so good. Sometimes that happens. Every once in a while, I'll have a nap. Wait, we wanted to show you that this is where Sam put the street light. See, he put this pole in the ground. Actually, it should work. Yeah, the other one's on. Maybe because uh, it was tilted up and it wasn't charging all day. Oh. But who knows? It might go on. It might go on. Yeah, it's like this. It's like light. It's always on. And then when you get motion detector, it goes on. So is this motion detector? Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?